What's the difference between no problem and never mind? No problem means there is not a problem. Everything is okay. And there are maybe three main situations in which we use it. First, we can use it when someone apologizes for something. If your friend calls you very late at night and says, I'm sorry to call you so late at night, but there's something I need to talk to you about. You can say, no problem, what's up? No problem is just a shortened way of saying, it is not a problem that you are calling me late at night. You don't need to apologize for anything. Second, we can use it to say that something will work or be okay. If you ask your friend to buy beer for a party, and your friend calls you from the store and says, hey, they don't have the type of beer that you wanted. Can I get a different type instead? You can reply, no problem, get whatever they have. And finally, we sometimes use it to mean you're welcome. If you listen to native speakers often, you'll probably hear this a lot. But as your English teacher, I really don't recommend using it this way. This is because it is very, very informal, and you're welcome usually sounds a lot nicer. Especially if you are talking to guests or customers, no problem just sounds a bit lazy and unprofessional. It's fine to use it in very informal situations, but if you're in a situation in which you need to be very polite and very respectful, your welcome is a much better option. So again, when you want to tell someone that there is not a problem, it's fine to say no problem. But if you want to say you're welcome, it's usually better to just say you're welcome. Never mind basically means that you want to stop talking about something or stop thinking about something. You have changed your mind and now you have a different idea than you had before. It basically means cancel that idea. We are not going to do that anymore. Maybe you want to help someone, but when you try to help them, they say something very rude to you. You can say, okay, never mind. I will not help you. Or maybe you are trying to explain something to someone and you explain it many times using very simple language and they still don't understand it. You might say, okay, never mind. In that situation, never mind basically means I have tried very hard to help you understand this, but it's clear now that you are just never going to understand it. So I'm going to stop trying. Or maybe you're about to go outside to play basketball, but when you open your front door, you see that it is raining very heavily. You might say, never mind, and go back inside. Just like no problem, some people sometimes use never mind to mean you're welcome. However, we usually only use never mind to mean you're welcome when someone is giving us a very big, very serious thank you and we want them to just calm down and stop saying thank you. But just like no problem, it's usually better to just say you're welcome. Now here's a very quick review of everything that we've talked about in this video. If you want to tell someone that everything is okay, you can use no problem. If you want to tell someone that you have changed your mind or need to cancel something, you can use never mind. And if you want to say you're welcome, you should usually just say you're welcome. And I wanted to talk to you about one more thing, but this video is already pretty long, so never mind. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.